you like board games, then surely you have used dice. Sometimes dice have a different shape from the most common six-face cube dice. Here we can see some of them. A four-face dice and an eight-face dice. All dice are regulated polyhedrons, also named platonic solids. But let's meet the first of the family of regulated polyhedrons, the regulated tetrahedron. In geometry, a tetrahedron, from tetra, which means four, and hydra, which means seat or face in Greek, also known as a triangular pyramid, is a solid polyhedron composed of four triangular faces, six straight edges and four vertex corners. When the base of the tetrahedron is an equilateral triangle and the other triangular faces are isosceles triangles, then it's called the right tetrahedron. When all its four faces are equilateral triangles, then it's called the regular tetrahedron. The latter, regular tetrahedron, is also the first and simpler of the five platonic solids which have been known to us since antiquity. Clearly, these equilateral triangles are congruent to one another. A tetrahedron can be folded from a single sheet of paper. Here we can see a regular tetrahedron. We name D the vertex and ABC the base of the regular tetrahedron, which of course is the equilateral triangle. AC, AB, AD, BC, BD and DC are its six edges and three lateral faces are congruent equilateral triangles BCD, ABD, ACD. We name E the centroid of the base ABC and F the midpoint of the side BC. That means that DE is the height and DF the slant height of the regular tetrahedron. Let A be the length of an edge of a regular tetrahedron. Then, Area of the slant surface of the regular tetrahedron equals the sum of the areas of three congruent equilateral triangles. Area of the whole surface of the regular tetrahedron equals the sum of the areas of four congruent equilateral triangles. Volume of the regular tetrahedron equals one-third by the area of the base by height. Let's see how we can use all of the notions we learned in the real-life situation. You have a juice producer and after asking your customers what box shape they want, you discover the most popular choice was a regular tetrahedron. You need to know how much material you will use for each carton box. You want to fill each box with 243 cubic centimeters of juice and the height of the box should be 5 centimeters. How much carton will you use for each box? The volume of the tetrahedron is 243 cubic centimeters. Let's use the formula for calculating the volume to discover the length of the side of the regular tetrahedron. The total area of the tetrahedron, the quantity of carton we need to use, is equal to... If you find our tutorial useful, please share it with your colleagues and teachers.